Have you ever looked at a map and wondered why planes don't just fly straight across the Pacific Ocean? You might think it's the shortest distance, and on a flat map, you'd be right. But in reality, there's a lot more to consider when planning a flight path than just drawing a straight line. Airlines are always looking for the safest and most efficient ways to get you to your destination. This means considering factors like the availability of emergency landing sites, weather patterns, and even the shape of the Earth itself. When you're thousands of feet in the air, the last thing you want to think about is an emergency. But for pilots and airlines, safety is the top priority. One of the reasons planes often avoid flying directly over the Pacific Ocean is the lack of suitable emergency landing locations. Imagine a flight from Los Angeles to Tokyo. Flying directly over the vast expanse of the Pacific might seem like the shortest route. However, if an unexpected situation arises, such as a mechanical issue or a medical emergency, having an airport within reach becomes critical. This is where the presence of islands and continents along alternative flight paths becomes crucial. These land masses provide vital emergency landing options, ensuring that pilots have a safe place to land in case of an emergency. Another factor that influences flight paths over the Pacific is the weather, particularly the jet stream. The jet stream is a band of strong wind, high in the atmosphere that circles the Earth from west to east. Think of the jet stream like a river of air, with currents that can either help or hinder a plane's journey. Pilots can save time and fuel by flying with the jet stream, taking advantage of its powerful tailwinds to increase speed and efficiency. However, flying against the jet stream can be like swimming upstream, resulting in longer flight times and increased fuel consumption. For this reason, airlines carefully analyze weather patterns and adjust their flight paths to utilize the jet stream to their advantage whenever possible. Section 4. The Earth is a Sphere. Understanding Great Circle Routes. Here's a mind-bending thought. The shortest distance between two points on a sphere isn't a straight line, it's a curve. This is where the concept of Great Circle Routes comes into play. Imagine wrapping a string around a globe, connecting your departure city and your destination. The string will naturally follow the curvature of the Earth, forming a great circle route. This curved path is actually the shortest distance between those two points, even though it might look longer on a flat map. Airlines use sophisticated computer systems to calculate these great circle routes, taking into account the Earth's shape and optimizing flight paths for efficiency and speed. This is why a flight from Los Angeles to Tokyo might appear to take a curved path over Alaska and the Bering Sea on a map, even though it's actually the most direct route. Section 5. Smooth Sailing in the Skies While the vastness of the Pacific Ocean might seem daunting from the ground, airlines and pilots have developed sophisticated strategies to navigate this massive body of water safely and efficiently. By considering factors like emergency landing locations, weather patterns, and the shape of the Earth itself, airlines can ensure the safety and comfort of their passengers while also optimizing flight times and fuel consumption. So the next time you find yourself on a flight across the Pacific, remember that there's a lot more going on behind the scenes than meets the eye. From carefully planned flight paths to the invisible forces of the jet stream, Every aspect of your journey has been meticulously calculated to provide you with the smoothest and most efficient flight possible. Section 6. Conclusion, safe, efficient, and always improving. As technology advances and our understanding of the atmosphere grows, airlines are constantly refining their strategies for flying over the Pacific Ocean. New navigation systems, more fuel-efficient aircraft, and improved weather forecasting models all contribute to making these journeys safer, faster, and more comfortable for passengers. So while the vast expanse of the Pacific may seem like a formidable obstacle, it's reassuring to know that airlines and pilots are equipped with the knowledge, tools, and experience to navigate this challenging airspace with the utmost care and precision. The next time you're soaring above the Pacific, you can sit back, relax, and appreciate the incredible science and ingenuity that makes modern air travel possible.